Hello, welcome to episode 34 in this fantastic series of XCOM. Now I need to tighten up the gameplay from last time. I've given myself a little kind of, you know, a little slap around the face just to wake back up. I think we were getting a bit too sort of, um, a bit complacent, I think, with the power of our soldiers. We could just move them anywhere. Um, now I made a decision. I said, I keep saying I'm going to go for the facility. I've got a thousand fucking supplies. Right, I'm actually just, I'm actually just going to pop to engineering a second and see what I can buy. Um, because I've got so much stuff. Right, I could actually buy... Um, Okay, this is interesting. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna buy some stuff. Gremlin Mark III. Okay. Insta build that. Now this fusion axe I'm also gonna build. I'm gonna take that out on this mission. Um we could get this advanced Siam for Ross. He's currently it costs two hundred supplies, but I've got like eight hundred, so we'll just get it. Um I could also get the skirmishers upgrade, so Mox's ripjack upgraded. We're also gonna try this Shadow Keeper this mission as well. Um, I'm not taking Reapers out, so Reapers are pointless at the minute. Um, what we could also build, so they've got Sustaining Sphere, Law, retract, Refraction Fields, Proximity Mine, could be fun. Um, we've used them in modded playthroughs before. So, okay, I've spent like a lot of supplies there. Um, so, now I've made a decision. So, um, I've pushed the Avatar project back again because of a Kova, and I got to month end. Um, which means that I have a card which pushes it back up. So I basically pushed it back three. So now doing this facility is less stressy now. Um, now the dark event that's cucking me is this one here, Alien Cipher. But it's a 100% increase in intel cost for a month. It's been active a little while. I don't think it's going to be too long till this drops off. And then I can spend my... I don't think I need to worry about getting to 240 intel because it's going to drop off soon. However... If we look at the Chosen right now, now this guy is getting fucking strong. Uh, I'll be honest. He now teleports after taking damage. But if I look at what he's... He's just basically focusing on another Dark event at the moment. Not that big a deal. If we look at um, our friend the Sniper here, he's currently going to try and sabotage the Avenger again. Um, I might take a Templar. Uh, I'm, what I'm thinking is basically we go for the, we go for the Sniper go for him we try and take him out <laughs> we get another chosen off the board buy some time that we, we do need to we can't let the assassin keep getting stronger but it's I, just, I don't want the avengers to be attacked again i just really don't so we need to basically send in now i did keep some people back on the last mission obviously um we don't we're not going to take sneaky um i kept some people now we're going to take mark he's got the disruptor rifle i also didn't equip that last time james is full hp we take him warlord is full hp arrows almost full hp carl i don't think i need three rangers i've got two specialists two rangers i do want a sniper so we're gonna take now i'm available with icarus armor but this is an indoor mission although icarus armor still might be able to get me around the map i was my mm. i can always take nick and put the icarus armor on him that's probably the play right nick's yeah right let's just give nick um load out make armor available give nick the icarus armor i'm gonna give him the blue screen rounds uh and a well i don't know maybe i could try this with the icarus armor i could icarus put a proximity mine down and then run away that'd be fun we'll try that um, right, so Nick's in. I then need a Grenadier for sure. Is Steven back and fit? He is. And full HP too. So Steven, we're going to give him the thick armor. Need to make armor available again. I really wish when you click make armor available, it would just do it for everybody all the time. We're going to definitely take the blaster launcher. It's so strong. Primary grenade slot, we're going to take double frost bombs. Um, and... In case they're psychic enemies, we'll, we'll take flashbangs, just just in case. We've got enough explosive power on Steven. Um, what I have also been doing is going back through soldier abilities. I, I've spent quite a bit of my um, XCOM AP on just bumping people up. I don't think there's anything great for Steven, to be honest. Um, I'm also working on a research project as well, which will give the Rangers a third weapons attachment slot, uh, which is quite large. Now, Rich, I think, we give the AP rounds to. Yeah, he's just doing very strong things at the moment um now warlord 
Why is Warlord only got... Oh, he's got the Wraith suit on. I'm actually tempted to take the Wraith suit off him, put him back in Warden. I'd almost rather, for this mission, I'd almost rather have the extra utility. Now, I haven't got anybody who's got a Mimic Beacon on them, um, which might be a problem. Mark's obviously going to take a, a, a med kit. Not that. I've also got Gremlin level 3 now too. I just want to check that that's equipped, right? Gremlin level 3 is equipped. Yeah. So Gremlin level 3. Okay. I think it just buffs what it can do, right? Um, okay. So we're good to go there. We've got Grenade Grenade. I'm probably actually on mark. Let's take the Mimic Beacon. I don't want to not have it. It is useful. We've got a lot of damage. We've got proximity mines. We've got grenades. We've got frost bombs. We've got blaster cannons. Everybody is almost full HP. Icarus armor. I'm not taking the Wraith suit on anybody. I'm not sure if the Wraith armor is actually that good. If I'm honest. This is Steven's armor. like Because the extra armor, the extra tankiness is always, always good. Um, but I'm just not sure about the Wraith suit. There is another, I need to get, I could build the spider suit again. I've got so many supplies. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is between the spider suit and the Wraith suit, but you know, we can always build it. It's not a big deal. So let's get this rocking and rolling. If I can get a second chosen off the board, that's big. Then we can crack on with the facility. It's going to be very similar format. We know the fight. We know we're going to have to manage a lot of shit. The, only, the hunter isn't, you know, his trace rifle shot. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Right, we have concealment on two of our boys. So what we're going to do... Uh, Warlord, why can't you get there? Probably because you're being blocked by two people. <clears throat> so James, I think, just dip in here. That's a nice spot. Nick... Um, I'm thinking I want full cover but I don't want to be too far back so just go there that would let Warlord get to no wouldn't let Warlord get there Mark's got absurd movement range so he can go here I'm tempted to open the door with Mark and we'll just see what's in there before I move anyone else nothing yet so it's going to play similar to the last mission then I think so Steven can actually drop in here so tanky. Wait, is there a door this way? Uh, that's not a door, but there is a chamber. Now, we're, again, we're looking for that alien chamber. We want to make a beeline, but we don't have to kill everything here. I just need to find the alien kind of chamber, as it were. Um, okay, so it's just... Well, to be fair, my rangers, I'm pretty sure everybody's... They're all concealed, so I can actually... They're not going to trigger anything if they go here anyway. Um, unless we literally run into something. So I could actually just take Rich to that corner... No, it's completely safe. All right, cool. So we're probably going to double move everybody up. Let's get Warlord in and we'll do a sort of similar check. Stack those two boys. I can get Nick into here. James can't get anywhere great. We can maybe just take Mark's position. Who's going to go there? Steven is going to stand in the open because he's a Chad. James is going to... I'm just going to probably stand in the open as well, to be honest. It's not a problem. So this door goes somewhere. So I need to be careful we don't get flanked here. Again, we're going to keep scouting with our um, rangers. So I can easily move Rich here and then duck him into that wall. I just want to see if I see anything. I do want to scout this out, really. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a lot of them in there. In to sneak in here today. Let's right. take these things out. Okay. There's a quite a big group there. Now I'm thinking Nick here would have elevation and a really good line of sight go, for the next go, go. turn, so I'm gonna pop him up here. Oh, they actually trigger off that. Alright, I've double run two people, so that's a problem. Okay, Stephen. Might be time. But one of your finest grenades. 
Oh, you can hit so many. Oh my god, this is going to be so clutch. Um, I want to make sure I've got him in full, really. Um, On the move. I don't want to piss too much utility up the wall. So frost bombs I do not want to use, but this just feels like an opportunity that I may not get again for just the, the amount of hits is absurd, right? Uh, I want to make sure we hit all of these. But using the blaster bomb this early, this may be questionable. But I very much doubt I'm going to get five enemies that stack like that again. Um, yeah. So, Warlord. Now, does he have untouchable? He absolutely does. I could literally walk him up the middle here. Stand here with his dick in his hand. Uh, he could actually just... He may as well take the fool, just so he will have some cover. And then he can just... Hopefully drop this guy and he explodes. That would be nice. going so well now um, rich is in a good position he's been revealed oh he gets implaceable too i can literally just move him here um i need to remember that um now mark can give rich an action point which is tempting he can teamwork um so i could move him here uh or here and then teamwork rich so rich can do things now james is furthest back james has also got run and gun now if i run and gun james to here he can probably kill this one. So let's try that. Gonna run and gun James up the middle. Having run and gun on this on somebody other than a range is actually so huge. James gets a 70. It's not a great shot, but he still has he's, uh, he, okay, he's um sustained it. That's fine. Um Mark, I think I'm gonna move you to a cover position that is okay like here I can but then that. we're going to give rich the action uh for sure so use teamwork give an action to rich rich is probably just going to melee this um to be quite honest with you uh it would obviously bring him out of um i don't really need to be incognito here rich gets blade master And then I just literally think I'm going to tuck him around this corner. I actually literally put him back where he was. So that's good. That's pretty good um, use of that turn. This guy's now up, but... Okay, stasis is fine. Any non-damaging abilities are fine by me. Um, so I just need someone, probably Warlord, right, who can just get into a flanking position. Um, kill it, that will obviously end the status, the stasis on Rich. Uh, also, then we can just move him back to the Implaceable. Now, I just need to decide, like, where do we want to go? Is that a door? That is a door. I can't go this way. I'm thinking I want to go through here to be honest that's what i'm thinking so let's take warlord out here rich is still stasis for a turn but what it does mean is that i can now run everyone else up i'm gonna go through this way i'm gonna make that but now i can um uh, can i not remove that stasis effects clearly not so i'm actually gonna take james to here Mark has got so much movement, it's actually absurd. Take him to there. Uh, Steven has not got so much movement, so I'm just going to take him to there. Rich will be up for next turn for the stasis and we'll push through the doors. So again, I've used Big Bomb to get that done quickly and efficiently, which I think is, is the right play, to be honest with you. I do think that's the right play, but I just don't want to piss. Certainly not Frost Bombs. I do not want to do that. Now, Rich doesn't have awesome movement range, I'll be honest. What I might want to do here is stack and then we'll go in next turn. I don't necessarily want to go in this turn. So for example, we can get Warlord to double run to here. Um, I've got free reloads on people, so I don't need to stress about reloads too much. What it also means is that I can just stack um, everybody. It also means I can put Nick in a really good position to shoot through the doors. Um, 
I'll probably take Mark to here to the full cover. Um, no James, nah, let's take Steven in here into the close position. I'm on it. We'll do with getting an expanded mag on Steven. I probably shouldn't have given it to. What's it called? Um, then James, I don't really want to. I could do. Uh, it's just let's uh, let's set up in a a pretty formation rather than a uh, you know. Uh, actually good battle so Steven doesn't need to reload Mark doesn't need to reload Nick doesn't need to reload all right so we are just overwatching here and we're gonna go through next turn all righty let's pop these doors open the door pal okay. nothing directly in sight but there's a nice full cover position here there's something on my left Definitely something over here. Okay, so let's play for that. Um, On my way. Prefer the full cover, if I'm honest. Okay, so I think we're just now going to sort of... Oh, Nick. Oh, yeah. Can I Icarus up there? Yeah, I can. Nice. It means if I do pull anything, I've still got shots. Okay, so Nick's in a real nice position. Um, so now we want to basically get the rest of the boys through as best we can. Mark's movement range is size large. So we'll go here. Steven, not so much. But he's, he is thick. So yeah. The other thing as well with Warden, actually, I put Death from above on Warden. So if I can get him up top, I probably will because he gets Death from above. So I'm going to actually think about putting him just here for now. Go up the top, go up top next turn. Uh, Steven... Just double run it into the full. Okay, we're probably just gonna we're just gonna sit and hold a turn here. I think, to be honest with you, um, I think I'm comfortable with everybody's positioning. So, see what we pick up. Nothing. Right, there is also a way through here. I'm looking for the basically the shadow chamber, as we know. So what I'm gonna do with Warlord is scout ahead with him first. I could also reconceal him too. I need to remember I've got that. I definitely heard something over here. Like, what the f where are the, all the enemies, man? Um, okay, right. In that case, Mark, you can kind of, kind of thinking that obviously they're going to be in here then. So you could go there. I'm going. Okay. Steven, let's take this. Don't want to be too near to these. Uh, Explodey things, but I'm on it. The door's here, so I'm thinking if if the shadow roomy thing is through there, then I'm good. We'll just move James here. Got Rich, uh, that we could double run. Roger that. Steven, I think I am gonna actually just jump you up another tier. I think I, I think it. if it is. If it is in here, then I'm going to be probably pretty ahead of the curve here. Warlord up. Nick, pistol overwatch. overwatch. James, may as well take that position. Um, we're going to go through these doors next. We'll check this room out and see what's going on. If I put Nick right on the corner where Warlord is. So Warlord can take this fall. Nick just wraps to here. And I think I'm going to leave him there as well. So Mark can probably get to hear him one. Mark's movement range is like absurd. Um, James, so what I'm basically just going to do is just going to prep to go through the doors next turn again. So Stephen, I'm probably actually just going to run you to there, mate, because um, I don't think there's any value in you being further back than that. Rich, for example, I am going to run to there. Warlord can go here. It doesn't look like the throne room place, I'll be honest. I can now see the terrain. It doesn't look like it. Mark, I'm going to stack on here. James, take in there. Nick, I don't know how good a shot he'll actually have. I'm probably actually going to go there. I think that's that. I know I'm sacrificing. Uh, oh my god, even when you jump down, it's so, it so looks cool. I think I'm sacrificing. We've got something over here. They're over here. I think I'm sacrificing the death from above perk there, but um, the thing is with this facility, I feel, sort of feel like I'm just like meandering through. Hello. Alright, there are a couple in here. 
So we will have to clear these out then. Odex and a thingy. Now the thing, the other thing as well. I just want to check out the actual um, state of this room. Like what's leading off it. That's the edge of the map. It goes. There is a door. Is that a door? I don't think that is a door. No. Okay. This is where I started. So yeah, I must. It must have. Must be up through. It must be up through there. All right. So let's just try and dispatch these as quickly as possible. Then without too much messing about. Um, I'm tempted to even just move Rich to here, flank this. Probably a guaranteed kill on the Codex. With a crit, it will. Doesn't kill. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's going to split though. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Nick has an 86 or a 74, but I can move Nick in. What I might do with Nick is just put him here. And then just kill it with the pistol. Just guarantee that it goes down. I don't want it hanging around back here. Nice. But it's very apparent that I need to keep moving back the other way. So that's good. Um, James, what have we got, pal? 73s. Steven um, probably is going to take a shot at the other codex. Because he has missed shots to do damage. Um, so just, just despite missing, it's dead. Um, then it's just going to be Warlord to shoot this in the face. I might actually get Mark to be the one that does that. No problem, boss. Um, it's got the disruptor rifle. Seven damage, which means we can move in with Warlord's sword attack. There, even that doesn't kill it. Alright, Warlord then is going to have to go... I've got a lot of I've got a lot of shots where I can just run in here. So I'm thinking with James. I'm just gonna put him here. Let James take the next shot. Yeah, 100 percent flank shot. Hits him for nine. Um, and then Warlord does what I was gonna do originally, which is just to slap this guy in the face. We're being very aggressive. Um, but it's good, because we had to clear those two. We've got to go. We'll I'll haul it back the other way, so. Uh, we may as well get rocking rock and rolling. All right, all right, nice. Clean. Oh, they actually going to come in. Whoa, I haven't seen sectoids for ages. It's actually quite nice to see them. Um, okay. Now, Mark's Disruptor Rifle. Now, I kind of want to test this out, right? Because it's a guaranteed crit on telepathic enemies. Um, what's Nick got here? 86, 86, 86. 60. Okay, the codex is so we've got we've been caught with our dick in our hand a little bit here, but it's not awful. Uh, Mark doesn't have any, we won't have any target previews from it. I don't think many people will, to be quite honest. Warlord has got run and gun. Um, yeah, I think I'm a bit sort of out of touch here. James also has run and gun. Um, who's the furthest away, Rich? Yeah, I, I'm really not going to have great shots here. They've kind of caught me a bit um, unawares. Now, what we could do with Nick is we can Icarus jump again. So I could do that with Nick. Has Warlord got running gun? Yeah, Warlord's got running gun. He could get up here. I'd give him a flank. Let's do that. He's the only one who can actually re reasonably get up here. Um, the other thing is as well, if we get if we snag a kill, obviously, then we're um, we're good with the positioning. This is a 92% now on a sectoid. Right, so he gets untouchable, gets implaceable. Ah, uh, he's also got hair trick. He has a free action. He can actually take another shot. I think I'd rather take another shot than move. God, this guy's insane. Your ass up here. He gets free reloads too, so it's not a problem for next turn. Just means they're flanked. So now with Mark, I am probably just going to run it somewhere. Probably it's going to have to be to here. What's Nick got? So Nick's got an 86. Now I can dramatically improve it. I can probably actually pistol it. Or be Icarus. I don't really want. I need to save utility. I need to save utility. Nick's going to come up. 
and then probably have a really good pistol shot at this guy. Yeah, I don't want to shoot the codex, I don't want it to split. Okay, five is good. Sectoids, I haven't seen them for ages. It feels like mission one. Uh, James has run and gun available. Would have a shot on this guy, but not a great one. Um, I think with Steven, because... I think with Steven, we just need to get as close as possible for next turn. Mark cannot... Oh, can we... Get, if we can combat protocol... don't think he can actually... Okay. Yeah, we're going to combat protocol that. So I'm going to get Mark to move to cover. I can handle that. And then probably combat protocol the other sectoid. Still have another charge of it left. Again, I don't want to use all the utility before the big fight. But it just guarantees another thing off the board. No mind control. Means now I double run James and Rich. Um, yeah, that's the best Rich can do. I, I, there's no point taking shots this turn now. We'll just have to see what the Codex does. Um, I don't want to waste run and gun either yet. Because I can use it to flank him next turn. Right, let's see what this guy We get two Overwatch shots as well, to be fair, which is not terrible. Alright, Sonic Bomb's good. That's perfect. Okay, nice. So, um, Warlord, my guy, what have you got? 100%. Um, you need to reload. But you get a free one. Now 79. Um, can I get somebody to grenade it and then, but then it's going to split? Steven, did you get caught in the bomb? You did. So I do need to move you. All right, Steven just has to move and I think reload. I don't think there's any option here really. Because um, that's just a bit frustrating. Rich can obviously move up. I could run and gun him as well. I could run and gun him and grenade it. Um, which isn't a terrible idea. No, don't reload. Run and gun Rich. Then I'll just drop a grenade on it to destroy the cover. Obviously we know it's going to move. But then I've got other shots from Nick and um, Warlord to kind of finish it off. Going to split. an annoying place to go right so i think um with nick let's just take the um take the shot that you've got i could actually use your pistol and still kill it uh and not, not just not burn any ammo so so now i've just got the guy that's hiding back here uh james needs a reload so is that outside of the bomb i'm not sure if that is outside of the bomb this is the problem with this i'm never really sure so I might just double run James and I'll have to reload him next turn. Mark's got a lot of movement range to get up here. Uh, again, it needs to be outside of the bomb, but he can move there. Now, Warlord, can I actually... He's not quite in um, slash range. So could go here, though. Who can he give an action to? He could give an action to Steven, but I don't. again, I don't think it's going to be a good shot. Will a grenade kill it? I could see if a grenade will kill it. Again, I just don't want to burn the utility. I really don't want to burn the utility yet. Just overwatch. Let's see what this thing does. It's going to teleport, so. Flank now. Alright, missed. Cool. Dead. Right. Warlord, my brother. Do I save his ammo here and just use this? Yes, I do. Absolutely save his ammo. Right. We're moving we're moving through. We've got untouchable. I don't necessarily want to go there yet. Um Yeah. Rich, take this. First. Let's have a little peek through here first before we commit to running up to the wall. 
Uh, well, he has got untouchable though, so actually if I am going to move him, I may as well do it now. All right, nothing there. Cool. Mark, take that. So I do want to squeeze in reloads now, so James I know needs one because of the bomb. Um, okay, I'm just going to run him. He's in, he's, he's in the open there, but it's okay. Nick can take that. Arrows probably is going to overwatch this turn, just in case something comes through. Mark also is going to overwatch. Steven is going to turbo run. Cool. All right, nobody's taken a hit yet. Probably should have taken a hit that turn with Warlord. Right. So where is this bloody throne room? Right, it's in here. Okay, so the throne room is in and left. So let's... I don't think there's going to be anything else in here. I think whatever is in there is going to be in there. So Mark, take that. And we don't pull anything. So I think we're clear here to stack. To actually not double doors. It's two individual doors. It's not awesome. Uh, rich to that one. Nick. So Nick, I kind of want probably here. Just to have a line of sight. Steven... I'm thinking the same just there. Um, James. James, can Mark actually get to this other position? Yeah, he can. I don't think Warlord can make it right. don't think he hasn't quite. He can, Warlord can go here, which is fine. Then we'll put Mark over here. Then James should be able to make Mark's position. Yeah, he can. All right, best we can do. We're lo locked and loaded and ready to assault the room. Two single doors is a little bit shit. Because um, it might just inhibit my lines of sight. So I'm going to have to open both doors. Okay, I've got Archons. Love to I want to panic an Archon with the Icarus armor. Like, in a big way. Like, when he sees Nick, is he going to panic? No. Right, Rich. Open the other door. Now, what have we got? Now, there is a... That's not a terrible option. What's now? Nick and Stephen have got the worst because they can't see anyone. Now Stephen can go here. That's probably going to be the play. Nick does have a seventy-six on the trooper, but uh, Nick could shoot the barrel. I'm thinking that's a good idea, given that he's only got a seventy-six. So let's tuck Stephen in to here to give him some shots. The, the rest of the boys can obviously move into the room. So. Steven's shots are not fantastic though. Uh, I'm thinking actually, what I could do if Steven is shoot that, then Nick can follow it up. Um, I think Steven's just killed it. Yeah. Oh no. Why is it not dead? Oh, we killed, did we kill something else? I don't know. Something died. Nick. So yeah, the Nick's now shot is a 100% flank shot, so that was the right way to do that. Uh, takes him off the board. Right, rest of the boys. We've got Archon. We've got a Flamey Boy. Um, and we've got a Standard Trooper. Now I'm thinking that Warlord can... I can almost basically... I don't know if I can one-shot it, but where the Archon needs to die. James, I need to get into a firing position. So James could run up the middle and take a shot at the Archon, and we see what damage that does. I don't want to stack too many people because um, th this guy's going to flame us, and I don't want, just want to take unnecessary damage. Rich and Warlord, I'd like to say for mop-up actual kills. What's Mark got? He's got a 90 on it from there. Do I just take the 90 from here? He's got combat protocol. Who's who's basically not going to... I think it's going to be James, right? So if we run James up the middle, Here I come. get him to shoot the Archon. Only 75. Now, I do have an option with James where I could re-divert him to run and gun um, to a flanking shot. I could run and gun him there to flank this. He doesn't have untouchable, though. He does have a fear of mutons. Mark's 90 now is looking a little bit more sort of takeable, if I'm honest. Even that's a dodge. Gray's fucking hell. 
Okay, shotguns obviously do the business up close. So, um, but what I could also do is with one of these guys running and what's the um, the melee chance? So even the melee is only 95%. So all I need to do is just get another shot on it. Another shot on the Archon and it's dead. So I could also combat protocol it. I don't have a great deal of turns left, you know. Um, with Warlord, I was thinking that we run in. I just uh, probably the Archon is priority, right? The, this guy is gonna fucking flame us though, in a big way. Can I give teamwork to Steven? Okay, love to be able to get there in the single. I could just I can blow my running gun here. It's not the end of the world if I do. Um, I just think that's gonna give him a really good shot. It also gives a flank on a trooper. Probably should have not done that with Mark. I don't like a 75. I'm really not a fan of it. Not a fan. Right. But I want the kill to go on to the Rangers so they so I can then do dumb shit with them. Right, James. Look, just we ran you up the middle to take this shot. Please hit him. It's another graze, but it is damage. I just don't think it's enough for Warlords to no, it's not. It's just not. So I'm probably going to have to take the shotgun up the middle. He might be able to kill it with his shotgun, to be fair. Is it clear? With his shotgun, he might be able to do it. Need to crit. It's only a very small crit chance, though. Aha! We poisoned it. Right, that's... It can die, but it's not guaranteed to die. Now, Rich, I think... It's 95%, but let's just kill this, and then he'll get untouchable, implaceable, all that nonsense. Um, he also gets some loot. Now I'm going to get Rich to stand in this guy's face. I've got the package. He's got implaceable. I am going to get Rich to stand in this guy's face, basically to try and make him shoot him. I think I'm getting flame attacked here for sure. It's really fucking annoying. Oh, blade storm, nice. And he's burning. He probably dies next turn. Yeah, Rich is untouchable. That's bad. Right. Um. So the burning is a is a is an annoyance to me because Ev they're going to take two damage each. It's it's not the end of the world. I'm going to want to use restoration obviously before I go in now. Um, no one else is burning. So Warlord, I think what we do is we just... Now this thing could explode again, so I just need to be mindful that it could explode. I want a flank shot though. So that would give him a flank shot on What's it. Um, killed it. Cool. Now that means I can Very use... Cool. Now do I want to use a Restoration or do I just want to use a couple of Gremlin heals? I'm thinking that I want to obviously just get close enough. I don't want to go in yet. Uh, I could also hunker down to stop the... Uh, you. I'm just going to use Gremlin Heals. I don't want to use Restoration. Mark, I'm going to run in as far as he can go. Um, and then we will Gremlin Heal James. We'll just use the single charge. So I don't want to use Restoration. If I can help it. Steven did not take damage, so that's good. He can also run up. Right, without too much issue. Nick needs to run. And we're all going in next turn. So again, we want to fit in reloads. Anybody with free re reload? Oh, he's still alive. This guy's still alive. Okay, now. Got him. Just leave a trooper stood, chilling up top. Um, that's good. He's dead. <laughs> okay. All right, Warlord. Uh, I need to remember, I've got free reloads it's on people. So Warlord can just stand here. We all go in next turn. Uh, Rich, don't need the extra move. Thank you. Okay. Right, one. No problem, boss. Dude, I want to do like a, I like trying like to get sort of into a snazzy formation, you know. Don't, this is a this is a statement of intent as we enter the throne room. Nick. I don't think it's actually possible really, but and then warlord. Oh, look at us. Look at us. You wouldn't want to um everybody's in, right? Yeah. Okay, we know what's going to happen here. 
We've got to kill it. We've got to kill the sarcophagus again. We've got to manage everything in between. Um, my, you know, some I haven't had an execute yet. Uh, we've had some clutch executes in our time. I could do with some more. So yeah, snipey boy, like he's either going to trace rifle shot us so he forces us to move, which is I'm absolutely fucking okay with. Um, or he's going to shoot at us. I don't know what his um got high cover again in the throne room. Throne room, by the way, it's not always like this. I've I've played before with some where there's no there's no top cover at all. Um, but this seems like it has a lot of top cover. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the chosen. So I need to remember, Warlord has got death from above too, as well as Nick. So probably Warlord is going to be the one who goes up. I did also see, get a little sneak peek at a enemy here. So with Mark and his tremendous movement range, um, don't want to block the ladder. Do not wish to block the ladder. Run and gun on Mark would be so fucking good. I'm actually thinking about it. I'm going to actually put him here. I think we'll still get vision of whatever's here if I do this. Yeah, we do. So we've got an Archon and one of those things. Andromedon, I think they're cool. So, like that. so Mark has a 92 on this guy. Um, he's in full cover. I don't see any reason not to take it. Yeah, for that reason, entirely. So the Frost Bomb um, is an option on the guy at the back. Um, oh, Mark's got a free action. Oh, let's go. Disrupt the rifle's so fucking cool as well. It gets like plus 15% aim and Mark's already got disgusting aim, so it's kind of wild. Um, right, arrows. Probably up the middle and we just shotgun this thing in the face and we kill it. Is the hope. It's a 97. Right, that's a really good start to the throne room. I'm very pleased. Um... Rich can also move. Now, can I get Steven close enough to frost bomb this? The only thing is, I don't necessarily want to piss them all away. Uh, I think I can reach. I, I, but what I don't want to do is also get cucked early on. So if I get Steven here, I've got two frost bombs, remember? So I've still got one more. What we'll do is we'll frost bomb this guy. Um, they can get the boys up top for one. Because remember, I've got to kill this thing twice. And that is why they are always probably a priority target. So damage on it this turn would actually be nice. So if I could get Warlord to run and gun. Um, he won't be able to see it. He would be able to see it from... He wouldn't be able to see it from up top. No. Now I do need to get Nick up there anyway. So Nick, I think... I am worried now that I'm going to pick something up. In the room. I've still got other soldiers available there to deal with that. Right, so fine, it's fine. So James has also got his run and gun. And so has Warlord. Now Rich has got his implacable for next turn. So Rich is gonna just move up one. I would like to get damage on it while it's on this turn, if I'm completely honest. Um, I can always move Warlord up top in a minute. Close. Now the shotgun is going to be preferable because it's just going to have a better shot than um, than James. So we'll see what damage we can do. A uh, 74. Not great. Yeah, the armor needs to be shredded by Steven. Um, so James, I'm probably going to run against you as well. It feels bad to use two. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm not going to get flanked from there. Um, it's only a 67. Right, it does hit though. Okay, that's cool. So we've chipped it. It's frozen. Oh, we're happy-ish. Uh, now, Stephen, if I can get in to shred some armor, that would be preferable. So Rich's position is attainable by Stephen. So... What I might do with Rich. Oh, because these guys are blocking it. Okay, so I need to move someone first. So I could move Warlord to here. There's only one active in this room. So I think Warlord can go here safely. 
We're gonna get the hunter coming in now, which is fine. We need he needs to we need to get damage on him anyway, so let's get him in. Alright. We face these things. Nick also might now have a shot. What happens today? Only one side is leaving this place alive. Finally. Right. Chance to return fire against missed shots. Reveals concealed units. Can summon beasts. Missed shots against this chosen will generate shielding and he regenerates health. He's gonna be really fucking annoying actually. Shell shocked. It takes increased damage from explosions and Templar. So grenades are gonna be also we know that grenades they don't miss. So Steven's big blaster grenade thing is gonna be huge here. Um right. Warlock. I do think that this is still priority target. Now Steven I am now he he's gonna regen health, so there's no point in like um can also run a gun rich to like here which give him probably a hundred percent he does regen health so let's run a gun rich to here i want to see what the shot's like on him first and also rich would get blade master as well um so he's got a hundred percent on him yeah i think we just start let's just get some damage in oh my god rich how many fucking things has Rich executed in this playthrough? What the fuck? I don't even know what to say. Dodger, to sort of I don't even know what to say to that. Of to the this guy is a fucking no these don't bad, bad man. Um, right, Nick can then probably hit the sarcophagus, right? Which is probably a really good thing for him to just keep doing up here. Um... Because oh, you know it's going to start spawning in enemies next turn. So now it's a case of like, kill this efficiently. Um, I want Steven to shred the armor because that will put it in kill range. Um, but I don't think Steven's going to have an all. He's not going to have a great shot. I can use um, Hail of Bullets actually. Not the worst idea to guarantee the damage. Um, so we could use Hail of Bullets here. So this uses all of all of Steven's ammo, but it guarantees the hit, which is like kind of important. Because I want to shred the armor. I want to get some damage on it. We'll have to reload him, but that's like okay. Now Warlord can just... I'm tempted to take... I wonder if Rapid Fire works. Like if I Rapid Fire this, when it spawns back in, will I get a second shot at it in the same place? Because it's, it's going to like do its... Um, reach anything this might actually be a really good use of rapid fire why don't this right i was wondering that so i don't get the rapid fire hit because i guess it classes it as a new enemy i suppose at this point um rich has also got emplaceable now the thing is this thing is alive and well james has got a 90 on it mark is sort of a bit out of the fight now it does take increased combat protocol damage so if james can get here and shoot it in the side for what is probably likely to be a 100% shot give or take a seven I mean, this is now a bit dicey whether mark can kill this with combat protocol it says 10 to 11 oh yeah because i've got upgraded um all right we're gonna so we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna move mark up first um i don't do i want to be stood in the open i don't think it matters i don't think it matters at the moment so I want Mark here, and then we combat. as his second charge of combat protocol. Um, but it does 10 or 11 damage now, which is disgusting, to be honest. It only did 6. Why did it only do 5? It only did 10. It needed to do 11. Oh, fucking hell. Um, right, I'm tempted to leave Rich stood looking at this guy. Um, Warlord. Now... Because they've got um, did Warlord kill? I think Rich. I mean, Rich definitely did. I'm going to move Rich in close to try and draw this guy's attention. Um, pick up the loot. Hopefully, he'll attack Rich because Rich is literally stood right in front of him. Um, Warlord is going to go up top to take a shot at this with his next turn. Um, so that's really annoying that I've left that on one HP. So now we know enemy's going to start spawning. It is what it is. A chrysalid is fucking fine. I don't even care if that hits me, to be honest. 
I really don't. Uh, okay. Do care about that. Do, no, this guy I care about. It's going to be annoying. Um, okay. So really, I hope that this guy just tries to punch Rich in the face. That's what I'm hoping. Um, oh, I've got great flank shots on this guy. Um, okay. Please just hit Rich. Yep. Oh, I love it. That's actually the most clever thing I've ever done in X1 without realising it. Um, right, I think we move Mark up here, try and kill this, so that Nick um, or Steven... Nah, Steven has to reload because of what I did last turn. So I think, yeah, Mark is going to come here, take the flank on the chrysalis. Should be able to kill it, I think. Because um, I want Nick to be able to keep shooting the um, sarcophagus. Oh, it doesn't necessarily kill. Interesting. All right, I might need some backup there. Warlord and Rich, I think, can handle this guy. James, I would love to shoot the thing. Because, um, like I said, the enemy's going to keep spawning in until we do it. Um, Nick, this is where I kind of really wish that I had the ability where the pistol doesn't... Um, this is where with snipers I've been overlooking like being able to use your pistol when it doesn't and it doesn't use like free pistol shots. This would be a great free pistol shot right now. What I could also do is use um oh, Nick hasn't got it. Nick hasn't got the face off thing. Uh okay. I'm gonna save the proximity mine. I'm gonna Icarus jump on someone in a bit and do that. I think Nick's is only seventy four because of the I think I need to keep putting damage in this. That is what I'm going to do with Nick. I'll find another way to deal with the, the thing. I need to keep damage going into this consistently. Um, now, James could also... Let's let's see if Mark can one-shot it, I guess, is probably the play, right? Let's just see if he can one-shot it. Okay. So he's left it on three. Um, right, I'm thinking with arrows. We go here and we flank this guy. Warlord drops down behind and kills him. Um, I can't believe Rich executed that again. This guy's on a fucking rampage. What did you expect? I think Rich is broken. I genuinely Run think he is fucking broken. Right, um... Okay, this kind of sort of makes my mind up then. So Steven is going to move up to here to get a target preview next turn on the actual sarcophagus. Uh, I'm going to reload him this I'm turn. Ready. Warlord is just going to basically pop. Do I want Warlord? <sighs> I kind of think Warlord should go here and kill the Chrysalid. And then James should be the one that shoots the thing. I just... It doesn't have great cover wherever James goes. Can I get up top in a single? I can get up top in a single. But then that... That would give him a shot of the... Right, I think what we do with James... James comes up here, kills the Chrysid. Warlock, Warlord shoots the thing. Um, as long as James doesn't miss this shot. I got nothing. My ammo's running low. Right, so I've got Rich out here, executing every motherfucker that exists. And yet I'm having to now bring Warlord in here to finish this off. Right, okay. Riches. I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore, to be honest with you. I'm going to bring him up top um, next to Warlord here. He's executed the Hunter. He's executed an Archon Ruler. He executed somebody the last time I was in the throne room as well. Okay, a captain. Interesting. Nick got blue screens. I'm not sure if I put blue screens on him. Okay. Right, let's kind of map this out in our head. Um, does Nick have blue screen rounds? He does. Right, Nick has blue screens. So if I can get the Overwatch off of this with Carl and Warlord. I could move Nick in and pistol shot this and basically do big damage. James can then combat protocol and kill. So I just need to basically get the overwatch off it. The only problem I've got with this guy 
is that I need do I like I said I need to be shooting this every turn and I'm using multiple actions from multiple people all the time to deal with everything. Um, so Mark needs would need to get closer to shoot it. So I can get Mark to shoot it. So I think let's get Warlord. Let's stand in this guy's face quite literally. Um, let's stand here. He's in cover and shoot it. Take the um, Overwatch off. I might need to use Rich as well over here. Then I've got James and Steven. What's James's shot like on the captain? 59. But James, I probably want to use his combat protocol. Okay. Um, I mean, Warlord's got a 93 without even moving. <clears throat> That's just going to remove the Overwatch. So Nick, I think think goes here and pistols it now the reason being that it's blue screen rounds and um, it will do a lot of fucking damage yeah and then it's on one hp that's really unlucky i'll be honest so steven i could can i maneuver steven to be able to hit the mech yeah He would be flanked. I, I, I need to shoot the fucking thing. Um, uh, Rich. Um. There is a, the, Rich, Rich does have the, the, off the chance to get obviously a return action. So I'm going to do this with Rich. Because he might get kill clip and get the, get the action right. returned. He doesn't, he just gets implaceable. So that's that's okay. All right. So now I've got Mark, who is going to go to here. Seems doable. Now, whether he shoots this guy or this, I'm unsure. I've also got a mimic beacon. Now I could put the mimic beacon down, which means I could actually get three shots into this. Um, that's going to use Mark's turn though. James has a 59. I'm thinking Mimic Beacon here. I'm thinking about I could get two shots into the sarcophagus from Steven. Steven can see it from here. Steven's definitely shooting the sarcophagus. Like, whatever happens, he's shooting it. That's just going to happen. Um, I'm thinking, this is a bit cheeky, I'm thinking fucking Mimic Beacon on the flank here. Buy me some time. Don't see how else I'm going to use it this turn, if that makes sense. I could also then prop Rich down and position him for next turn. Also, Rich has in place, of, he has untouchable. And then James is going to move next to Mark and shoot Sarcophagus again. Okay, this is kind of, I'm juggling it okay, not as efficiently as I could be. He's back. He's back for now. Until I get let Rich loose on this bitch again. Honestly, oh my god. He's back. He's fine. Yeah, he is going to shoot the uh, Mimic Beacon. Oh, he's bleeding. Now, I think I have to kill um, the Chosen again before I can shoot this, right? Yeah, I do. So, Rich, I think um, he needs to reload. Does Rich have free reloads? Rich does not have free reloads. So, I think. Although he does have a 100% on it. So if, if I reload. Do uh, he doesn't even want. No, he can. Right, I need somebody else to get a shot on this guy. And everybody else then needs to come over here. Now, Steven, we could also. Oh, Steven can actually get a flank on him. I'm thinking we do that with Steven because he can then. Because all of his all of Steven's damage can be dealt from range. 85% uh, oh, Let's get it. such good damage now because rich um has to reload um which i will do with him why is rich only got oh i did reload him right okay yeah rich just um sword this guy thank you right, it's, cool. it's done right rich gets implaceable he can then move here 
Now these guys have all now got to go for the hunter. So I could have used Steven's frost bomb on it, to be fair. Um, I need to think. Nick's got, actually got a 93 from here. That's good. All right, 93 from there for Nick. James and Mark. James has got probably got run and gun, right? Ah, oh, he needs to reload. He has got his grenade, though. I'm wondering what James's grenade reach. Oh, that is so fucking unfortunate. Um, now, what I could do with James is not reload him, of course. I could just not reload him. Put him here. Because uh, we know he takes increased damage from, from grenades. And also, I can shred his armor. So let's get James to go here. Also, miss, miss shots is not the fucking play, right, with this guy. So let's drop a grenade on his head. Take his cover out. Grenade. Shred an armor. He just gets shell shot, so that's cool. Um, Warlord also has a grenade. Now, I'm thinking we kind of, like, do a bit of a... He also needs to reload, but he gets a free one, right? Yeah. So I do the free reload. I'm thinking, I see what shot he's got. If he's got 100%, I mean, he's probably going to have 100% from there. It's a flank with a shotgun from that close. So can I shred any more armor? Um, Mark could. That would not give him a shot because of his, just, his, his position is ever so slightly awkward. Now that would give him a flank. With the disruptor rifle. I think we do it. Let's just have a look at the flank. See what the shot is. If it's 100%, I'm comfortable to take it. It is 100%. Right. Nyx is 93. So, can I proximity mine him? I think I fucking can, you know. I'm tempted to um, put a proximity mine on him so that when he moves, he takes more explosive damage. Do that, Nick. <clears throat> we haven't used it yet. So when he moves, he's gonna that's gonna damage him. I think we go here with with Warlord. Oh, have I just put him into the bloody radius of the bomb? I hope not. Right, hundred percent. Yeah, we take our hundred percent shots here for sure. Because miss miss shots are no good against him. Poison's really good. Uh, he's gonna keep so that should hopefully sort of neutralize his regen. Mark is in for nine. I do is shredding a bit more of his armor, but he takes one from poison. He's going to take proximity mine damage now, as well. Right, he's summoning a beast. Oh, he summoned them in the fucking proximity mine. I think they're dead. Surely the proximity mine hit them all. I thought going to say it has to have hit them all. He must take six as well. Yeah, he did. These boys are not, not a problem, really, realistically. Bladestorm, let's go! So much. He is flanked though now. That's a problem. That is a problem. I think he's going to take a hunter rifle shot to the face here. Alright, he's grappling up here. I need to remember he's got that. I kind of forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. Right, then he then decides to jump down. Hold your ears. I think this is one of those blinding grenades. Yeah, it doesn't do damage, but Mark's dazed for for a while. But I can get James to take that off him. Um, okay. Yep. I know. So now I just need to see what I, I want to set up. So that's an 81 for Nick. I can Icarus jump though. I can also grenade him back here. Um, right. I'm thinking with I can't get Rich close enough to get to Mark to pick him up. Can James do it remotely? Yes. <clears throat> so what I could do is reload James, because he has to be reloaded. I could then get him to revive Mark. I think that's the play, to be honest. Because um, then Mark will have both his movement actions, or at least one of his movement actions. It should remove the daze as well. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Nice. So, does he have both his actions? He does. Okay. So, I could get Mark to shoot this. Then I could put my rangers in to hit this guy. Um, 
I think, is he immune to melee damage? I don't think so. So Mark can finish that. We know. Steven, can I get in position? Can I frost bomb it? I'm wondering if I run Steven as far as he can. I wonder what the range is of this frost bomb. Oh, I fucking can as well. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. huge um, right warlord so warlord i could actually run and gun for a garen for a hundred percent attack so that's going to be the play here rich i can run and gun for a 100 percent attack so i think mark you are actually just going to kill this for me get it off the board um, i can also if i kill it then i need to think about leaving nick to have a shot at the thing right rich so this is also a hundred percent I'm actually what I think run and gun is going to give me more damage on him if that makes sense from because I think the shotgun just hits so much harder if I do move rich here he can then go up the ladder next turn to shoot the sarcophagus potentially so let's bring these guys in I think he's gonna be frozen for another turn too so rich would actually get like two shots okay AP rounds so warlord next is he's gonna run and gun too to the same, very similar position. I don't want to go too close. Affirmative. Come on, mate. Let's get it. Right. That means the sarcophagus is open to be shot again. Which means Nick can now shoot it. So I've actually left a shot open for this turn, which is actually large. Right, so Nick can now chip this for another 8 or 10. Continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. Nice. To make destroying it our top priority. Okay, extra move available. Um, right, go here then. Get your ass back in here. We can probably shoot it next time. We need to get, we need to kill the sarcophagus now. That's the opposite of the that's the opposite of what I want to come out of that little fucking beam. Honestly. The complete opposite of what I would want. Right, we have to kill the sucker. Silence. Not too bad. Okay. Um alright. Worst thing he can do is take control of one of my soldiers. That's the worst he can do. I did use my run and gun on these two boys last turn though to kill Oh, how much HP is left on this? So we're coming come back to Nick. Now he gets a free reload. Now, however, Nick's Steven. I don't think Steven's in a position to help the fight at all either. So Steven, I honestly think, mate, if I move you here so you're not flanked by anything, um, I want you to then shoot this. I need. To, I can probably kill this with you and Nick, which would be big. Yes, nine damage, huge. I'm hoping Nick can now one shot it. I would like to be able to finish it with two people. Nick can one shot it. That's big. Now we're gonna have to kill the hunter again. Um, but and now James has run and gun. So now I need to basically kill kill these two this turn ideally now rich's shot is good already right probably 73 i can improve it with rich by literally just hopping up here because um, this guy does have a little bit of half cover so i'm gonna hop rich up sure top thing. yeah it's now an 89 rich has has he got ap rounds yeah, yeah, so Rich bypasses the armor. Let's take this. This is huge. That's nine. Need to remember it's going to regen in a sec. So really, it's probably a case of James. So I could stand James on the edge here, and then he would get a really good shot of this. Now, I don't think he can kill it, though, because of the armor. But he can give it a bloody good go. Now, the only problem with that logic is, is that I need the, this guy to die, really. Um, probably in a bit of a pickle here to be honest so I could bring Mark here 
that gives him a a single flank shot. I don't want to go. I don't want to spread out too much. This position would obviously give Mark a flank on this guy. So let's stay in full. Take the one hundred percent. just right James I think I am going to go here and we'll finish this thing yeah just finish this off it's fine and then for next turn I've got combat protocol on James as well um, which is big now the thing is now the question what we do is is basically with what do we do with now I could move I could move warlord to here and then use rapid fire to get two shots at this from extremely close range. Um, I could pro I'd probably better off doing it from there. Um, right, that means we're leaving the um, this guy up. But now I can use, it's 100%, so I could use rapid fire. The first shot's 100%, the second's gonna be 75. So if he gets the second shot off. So huge. Rapid fire with the rangers. Okay, rapid I now fire. understand why it's good. Um, and he gets in place of all. So we're going to dip into full cover. Is it clear? Okay, so we've left this up. What he's probably going to do is obviously shadow shadow realm. That's right. He comes back only with half HP. Nice. Um, okay. So this guy is now actually priority over the hunter because he's going to take control of James. more Christmas delivery so James is indeed shadow bound cool he's now gone here right and he's there he gets ever vigilant it's so annoying that he gets ever vigilant uh right probably then now Stephen can give teamwork to him so I'm thinking now Stephen would be so good to go up here and flank it like just have to, I have to reload so we just need to do a bit of juggling now because Rich can't reach anything to actually realistically help the situation. I think Warlord is actually going to be in a similar spot. Yeah, I, I think I need to deal with this with... So Mark, because of his movement range, could literally stand here and get a 100% on this. Which, killing it obviously is going to... I can... Or I can revive James. And I'm, reviving James doesn't um, get rid of the shadow, but it does bring him back up. Which would give him a chance to flank this, but I'm not necessarily gaining anything then. Because if I kill this, James comes back up anyway. So I think the priority is try and get Mark. He's going to have to run through Overwatch, but he'll be alright. Twat. Mark's now in a Looks bit like of bother, to be honest. Um, do we take the 100% on this? Only seven. Oh, hair trigger. But he needs to reload. Um, oh, fuck me. That was so clutch. Right, let's see what we can do. Nick, what have you got? A 62 or I can take a 100% pistol shot. At it. Warlord cannot get close enough to fucking do anything. Um, what about Rich? Can Rich get close enough? Uh, I've got a problem. I've got a problem. I'm going to be leaving three things up here with Mark. I'm actually thinking that I use that. Oh, restoration. Will it revive James? I'm assuming it will. This could have clutched. Mark's going to restoration, so that will heal himself. I think it will bring James up, right? It doesn't. Fuck. Right, I've, anyway, I've left Mark in a sort of... <sighs> Nick can Icarus jump. I can Icarus jump behind it. 
But the only thing is, with the, as we know, with the sniper shots, the Icarus jump, um, I'd like... You, you can be too close with snipers, right? So I'm just thinking about where can we Icarus 2 that would give me a flanking shot but also be up top. So probably here, right? That's going to basically give here is going to give me... It does say that we'll have vision. I'm kind of... This is a bit ballsy, um, but we're going for it. Yeah, Nick now gets the flank on it and can kill it. Oh my god, the Icarus jump is just absurd. So that gets rid of this guy. James is back. Um, okay, that was actually large. James can now move for a 100% on this guy, probably underneath. Yep. That was so clutch. The Icarus, Icarus armor is OP. James hits him for five. He do, he is going to regen. So, all right, Stephen, the priority is a reload, and then probably getting up top. Yep, Stephen, I've, I've positionally not played him very well, um, if I'm honest. Now, Rich is definitely going there. Warlord is definitely going there. He's got a free reload, so I don't need to worry about it. But next turn, he's this guy's super flanked by everybody now. So he regens three. He's going to call in something. What's he called in? Two chrysalids. Oh, and a muton. Don't panic. I'm getting really lucky with those resists. I know it's a, it is a small chance that they panic, um, but still, it's not the best. He's gonna grapple over here, I guess. Okay, now Nick is, as a, as we know, in an awesome position. I don't know why he keeps going up and then down. It doesn't really make a great deal of sense to me. I think he's just killed himself as well. Oh, he is going to shoot James. Oh, fucking hell. James is also bleeding. Um, okay. Yeah, he's going to take chip damage. Okay. So, Mark, I think we take the reload. And then he's got 100% a shot on this. Or 100% on this. I think... Let's head over to our resident sniper. So Nick can't actually see the hunter anymore, which is a, a shame. Now, Steven can go here and probably could have a good shot to shred the armor. So I think what we'll do is we'll get Nick to... What do we want to pop? What's the priority? Probably this guy, right? I just realized why Nick had so much damage on that because it's a robot in it and Nick's got blue screens. So I think this is the priority is the Berserker, to be honest. So it's crit up 13 as well. Mark might now be able to finish it. Potentially, he can now just... Oh, he's going to be a little shy of damage, I think. So is it better that Mark takes the Chrysalid? Just thinking got rich as well so obviously now it would be cool to bring arrows up actually because he can potentially one shot this Absolutely. and then we'll get the usual bonuses you're not dead it's on one hp james i do need to heal so I'm probably going to have to tuck James in and heal himself because he's going to keep bleeding otherwise. Um, so I'm now left with... Uh, st now, Stephen get a count, will get a guaranteed kill on this because of the 1 HP thing. Um, so I'm going to move him here. Anything is... It's 96, 85, 81. Like, it's really annoying that that's left on 1 HP, to be honest. Um, really annoying because I now have to use two turns so let's do the sensible thing with James let's get him in here we're going to just he only does there's nobody else injured right oh Mark is slightly injured but I don't think it's worth it for one HP so we'll get James to heal himself <clears throat> so now I've got 
Marks disrupt the rifle shot. I'm thinking Marks is nine. I need to think about the percentages too. Marks got hundred percent. I think, to be honest, just kill this. It's really annoying that Rich didn't, but it's fine. Just kill that. Stephen then has. I could do with Stephen going for that, but I need to see if Warlord can kill the Chrysalid. Really, that's the. Does he get a free reload? So what I need to do... Oh, who could he give a teamwork to? Okay, Steven. Um, so the thing is here, Steven could shoot this. No, 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 no. Let's use the 100% shots to secure the kill. Because he can one-shot this. He fucking doesn't, though. I'm leaving everything on 1 HP. Oh, he gets hair trigger. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, that hair trigger again has probably saved my life a little bit. It gets him placeable. Um, I'll move him up one. Steven then hopefully can hit this guy and shred some armor. Now again, we could use hail of bullets here to do it. I am very tempted to do that. Guaranteed damage and shredding all armor. Steven, you madman. Oh my god. God, these execute shots are are showing up big. What a fucking shot! I love that um, ability with these guys to just like piss all your ammo, but guarantee damage. Another chosen dead. This time it's the snipey boy. Done. That means we're going to get his sniper rifle, which means so. Okay, we took we got three wounded. Not. Quite awesome I'll be honest a few of them were sloppy um, I think James took the biggest whack okay so now it's just the assassin left she is getting very strong the assassin I actually think for the assassin I'm tempted to basically bring like four frost bombs because every time you damage her she moves uh, she teleports and actually I wonder what the interaction is like with frost bomb if that's the case we'll see We'll see. All in good time. Okay, no promotions. One day, two days, nine days. A few of the boys are shaking because they, they've they've put a lot of work in. So I'm going to have to take you know the B squad out uh, next time. Now we've got the Dark Lance here. Um, so this is going on one of the snipers. We also got the Dark. So we also get the pistol as well. Illyrium cores, an advanced scope. So another ten percent aim for someone. Codex brains and lots of other stuff. So. Um, we'll get that researched as a priority. Shaken. Shaken. Okay, a couple shaken. Um, how long are they going to be? 16 and 15. Two weeks. All right, I'm tempted to maybe go and... Uh, what I might do is go and scan at the Templar HQ to heal faster to kind of speed some of that up. Um, and we'll see how we go. But that's another chosen off the board. Another big W uh, for Team PBS, um, and I will catch you at the start of the next episode.